Welcome back to the 23rd episode of a close combat moose mod uh, for TLD playthrough with the Germans in the Gang campaign on Elite Difficulty. And this will be the uh, last uh, battle of the first night we're fighting. Well, we're on the morning of the second day, so the early hours slash night hours. I can't tell you exactly when, but... Either way, we, we are here in Signy. Uh, so, Commander, Signy is an important center of communication for the enemy. The control of this sector allows us to attack in all directions. History. May 16th, the 6th Panzer Division arrived in the area and found the French uh, 2EDCR. Not sure what that stands for exactly, but part uh, partially loaded on trains and so spread out it could not provide any resistance. Well, if that was May the 16th, we are three days ahead of that. So I'd say we're doing good if you consider that. Anyway, let's have a quick look here on the map. We are attacking, they are defending, and they are doing so with infantry. So, let's set them up here. I don't think we've fought these guys before. Let's see what kind of anti-tank stuff they have. They have uh, four 25mm anti-tank guns. And they have some anti-infantry guns as well. So, we're going to give them a command team. And just some infantry, like these guys, for instance. Uh, we might have fought these guys before and then have respawned, actually, looking at the uh, reserves they have available. So we'll get them something like this. Then maybe a uh, heavy MG team. Now let's see, how many tanks are we going to be fielding here? Um, I have a Panzer III, I have the 8 centimeter. this thing, that could come in handy. Let's remove the heavy machine gun team, get this in instead. This heavy machine gun team is a little bit uh, tricky to get to be very effective. In fact, no, let's not do that. Do we have mortar half tracks? Um, I guess not. So, well, okay. If we don't, we don't, I guess. The Panzer 1B is not that much of a point to be using here. Um, okay, so we're going in a little bit more infantry heavy, I suppose. We have four tanks, two Panzer twos, and Panzer three and a Panzer four. Um, I mean, I guess we could take one Panzer. I'm just going to put that off this real quick. And uh, let's see, get the heavy machine gun teams out. And instead of them, maybe some mortal teams. So let's see here. Uh, we'll give them a, oh, I messed up a little bit actually. Um, heavy MG team, then this. And uh, let's get some fusiliers in. And the anti-tank guns, I guess. Um, like that. And maybe more fusiliers. No, we'll do it like this. Um, get the heavy machine gun teams in, so we have them. Then we give them these uh, anti-tank guns with basic training and fair morale. So it's, we're not up against strong enemy resistance, uh, but... Yeah, it's uh, still going to maybe be a bit tricky. I don't know. It's probably going to be interesting as well. So we'll just see. We have some tanks to use, and we should try to utilize them in an intelligent manner. In fact, maybe we replace this with a 75mm uh, cannon. Uh, just so that they have uh, one cannon per one tank we have. Okay. So, let's see. How do we approach this? It is a pretty damn large map, so we're going to be spread pretty thin. As we move along here, but so is the enemy. And we got some serious hedges, sir. Uh, so I think we just kind of move the Panzer 2, uh, well, the two Panzer 2s in here to begin with, not too far. And we have the Panzer 1B. Well, the Panzer 1B, we could maybe have in this area instead, and hopefully it doesn't get just instantly deleted by an anti tank gun, but we'll see. Uh, and a Panzer IV going in behind the Panzer IIs. Then maybe also a Panzer III in this area. Sitting a bit further back so it won't be, well, spotted as easily. It is still night, which could certainly work to our benefit. Um, let's see, do we have a command team? Uh, right, we're, we're going to move these guys just into here. We'll take these Schutzen guys. Move them in here. Then I would like the MG34 teams. Well, let's see, where are they? Uh, one here. 
I want to move them in here initially. And the other one. Well, we're going to kind of maybe use them on the north side. To start gaining control on the north. And then gaining ground towards the south from there. Now, this being such a large map could really be a benefit for us, actually. Since, um, well, the enemy anti-tank stuff is likely to be spread out far and thin. Either way, we'll move some Schutzen unit there. Keep the mortar teams just a little bit on the back burner. Smack them on to defend. Uh, command team also over here. Just over like such. Use these fences or, or walls for what they're worth. Sneak these guys maybe over here. And then we have one more Schutzen team left. And we're going to move up in this direction with them. So let's just begin and see what happens. Out of fuel? Oh no! What? But I looked at it before. It, it didn't say no fuel when I looked at the battle group. That's so horrendous. Now we might lose that just because it's out of fuel. That This is like already basically counting as dead because it doesn't have any fuel. What? How can we be so low on fuel? Okay, we're going to try to push these guys up the road here and uh, put some shots in right there. Yeah, yeah, just try to do some damage to that. And we're doing okay. I will just hold her with these guys because I'm trying to maneuver very stupidly at the moment. Okay, gonna set the MG team up on the fence. And we're gonna move these guys a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Uh, gonna put the command team on the fence as well. So now would be a good time to start opening up on these guys while they're in the open here. So please do so. Gonna move these guys even further. Won't do too many moves on the south right now, it's just simply too much micromanaging. But if we can get some Schutzen teams into this building here and just kind of secure that before we move up our uh, MG teams, that could be good. Right, so here, uh, well, these guys, kick them into the fence. Move these guys a bit further into the tree line, sir, maybe. Uh, kind of just be a little bit on the back burner with the Pencil 1B. Okay, we're doing a number on these guys, which is great. Uh, seemingly uncontested, we can take this. And I would say we move one Pencil 2 up here, just to help out in that direction. And send these guys down here. Just kind of establish a little bit of a presence. Uh, these guys are not dead yet, but they will hopefully be soon. We can move this MG team over here. Together with these guys. Well, these guys will clear the path ahead first, basically. Then we can get the victory location. And, okay, that's terrible. We are really losing a lot of tanks in this campaign. So, was it these guys that got it? With a grenade or some shit? Okay, well, I guess I should have been more careful. But either way, we'll just put these guys in position here. And then at least we have them holding down the street and whatever else might be uh, relevant. Um... So, okay, what do we have here? Infantry. Okay, we'll move this uh, thing up a little bit, and these guys as well. Not so good that our Pencil 3 is just stationary right there. Uh, I kind of want to save the Mortars for anti-tank guns, but let's just fire off a few rounds here. Okay, well, they're barely hitting, so never mind that. Let's move them up a bit so they have a uh, closer uh, range to fire that uh, mortar down. Let's get the MG team set up here and we can fan these guys through here. There seems to be a reserve rifle team in here, judging from the labels I'm hearing being fired right now. Um, once we have this MG set up, coming down here, we should maybe be able to... 
Okay, it's actually quite useless, but, well, it might work. Um, yeah, as long as this guy gets spotted, then we're fine. With these shits and so, we're gonna move them in and try to overrun the position in the house, so, with some rare cover. I will move this MG team over in this direction here, take this house. And, okay, we're taking some casualties with the command team, which is not ideal. Far from it, in fact. Uh, maybe we can move these guys further up here. And I guess we need to go around this wall here with this thing and move down this way. Which I will. I'll just put it in front here against this infantry. And uh, then we can maybe move up the other infantry. So, okay, there's infantry in the forest. So let's just get defending here then. And we'll take them on. Um, let's just use this MG team to spray it the last known position of that guy. Although we don't have unlimited ammo, so maybe we should be a bit careful. Okay, it's running away now, actually, so let's see if we can't get him. There, nice, okay. Let's just cross over there with these guys. Have the MG team link up with the other guys over here, so we have a little bit heavier firepower. Um... Okay, these guys are finding a place in the world, seemingly. Against one of the better enemy infantry teams. And we'll move these guys up a little bit here. Not too far, not too cocky, but we'll see. Alright, okay. So, we're gonna push up with the command team here, and hopefully that works out. Moving this guy down here. This guy can maybe head more towards this direction, but... Uh, how many anti-tank type guns did I give them? Five, so we gotta be mindful of that. For sure. Okay, so I think maybe we just uh, have the command team down here and then go and claim this with these guys. Okay, here we are. There's a heavy machine gun team in here, actually. And our command team is uh, getting their asses handed to them, it seems. Yeah. Uh, that did not go well at all. Hmm. Okay, it might be me misplaying this. Okay, okay, we need to have this tank over here supporting against this infantry. That's an anti-tank gun. Okay, well, guess what's going to kick into action. It was uh, there. Around there. I'm just going to try to get it with the mortars. And uh, we need this tank to support the infantry here. We can maybe sneak these guys in as well to... Help aid them. There's a two. I was. Hmm. Are there two here? Or was there one here as well? Anyway, we're kind of stuck up here, so uh, I'm gonna move this Panzer 2 in again to try to support the net. And, uh. Well, uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't separate my tanks too far from the infantry. So let's see, we move these guys over here. Just go that way with these guys. These have been taken out, we still have these fuckers around there though. Uh, gotta move the command team in here to get a little bit of a look at the center tank guns. And I need a Panzer 1B coming in here. As there's a lot of uh, obstacles preventing us from going anywhere else. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much dealt with, so... Let's move the uh, mortar teams up a little bit more. Well, they still have mortar shells remaining. Okay, that has been dealt with. Maybe we can claim this building. And uh, let's see. Well, it looks like we can move the Panzer IV in. Maybe just take this and then go back. Uh, yeah, we just need to gain the various uh, control of the various victory locations. And. Uh, well, we're going to blast this building a bit with the Panzer too. In fact, I want to do that from a better angle. Where's the infantry? Why, why can't you drive down? Hmm. Okay, so we got infantry right there. Maybe that's something we can get on. Uh, it's going to be a bit tricky. They're moving a lot over here. And there is a gun position, actually. So once we get the mortal teams in position, we can start bombarding that. Just move these guys through the city until we run into 
something that will fight us. Same for these guys, I guess. Uh, now that this guy is here, we can uh, continue doing some damage to this building before pushing it. I'm making so many mistakes in my session today. I feel like I really could be playing a lot better than I am. Okay, we're doing fine over here, so maybe we just take this corner building instead. And push over to this corner as well. And now that we got that suppressed though, I'm gonna remove the trees to actually see what the fuck's going on. And have this ready to shoot at anything that gets seen. As soon as it gets seen. Okay, just get around the fend and push and take this building. Oh, hey, they're trying to sneak away. Oh, there's an anti tank gun. Well, okay then. Let's go down that. We have. What the fuck? There's an infantry team in the middle of the street here? Where we just came from? Not entirely sure how much sense that makes. That was the MG team. I want to specifically target them here. Right there. Get them on the corner. Get the pencil 2 going down here. Seems like we're doing some damage at the, uh, with the tank gun at least. These guys have been fine so far. I think uh, we'll just keep pushing it with them. Until they are not fine anymore. These guys are doing okay seemingly. Uh, oh, one of the mortals have barely been firing. Well, either way, I mean... Just defend her then, I guess. See, the anti tank gun should soon be dealt with. Not sure why these shutsons are uh, kind of a treat in here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'll move the pencil 2 down here. And now to deal with the heavy machine gun team. The uh, gun is dealt with. So let's roll down here with the pencil 4. And start pushing south, maybe out into the uh, street here. Right, but I want the uh, mortar teams to preferably use the mortar shells here, or rounds or whatever. Um, exactly that, yes. Okay, there's a heavy machine gun team right there. Which we should be able to push up on with these guys, and there's more infantry as well, so if we can get that pencil fall down faster would be better. Uh, currently not doing too well, not gonna lie. And I'm not sure if we should leave maybe a team in the rear here, but you know what, fuck it, we'll move these, uh, we'll move them down. Let's see, just fastest way you can get to like here. And I should not forget that I also have a pencil 1B that I can actually use. So let's get going with that and also get these teams just down here. That should do the trick, hopefully. I'm uh, taking a lot of casualties, so I really need that. Pencil so 4 to get there quite soon. And oh, we've taken out the anti tank gun, very nice. Um, so that's three guns dealt with. Uh, let's see. We can maybe move these guys into the uh, three line across so they could potentially get shot sir when my uh, command team pushes that, which I'm planning for them to do. Okay, we got infantry in this building as well. But we are securing a way uh, through here, so. Hopefully the enemy doesn't retake anything that we've captured, and uh, we can keep doing what we're doing. Here comes uh, the rescue. Right, so we have them ready here. Let's just get them on the fend. And push in with the command team and clear this uh, trench line. Good. Now that this thing is down here, we're doing some serious damage to the enemy infantry. Which is exactly what we need to do. Be a little bit careful with the pencil four. There we go. Pushing in, throwing grenades, fucking them up. Very good. Uh, less casualties we take on this maneuver, the better. Let's just. Okay, yeah, they're dealt with. Let's move up uh, to the fence over there. And I think we're just gonna move the mortal team in with them so we have extra weaponry on the ground, like rifles and such. Doesn't need to be anything much crazier than that, at least. And okay, there's a cannon somewhere. I believe that sounds like an anti-tank gun getting fired off at some point. I'm gonna move the Panzer 1B in to support the infantry push over here. Though. 
Let's see, okay, you guys just get the fuck back there where you were. And we'll wait for the Panzer 1B to come in. That should be fine. Okay, there's an anti-tank gun firing at the infantry here. Could be the anti-infantry gun, actually, judging from the size of that explosion. Yeah, let's just get in here. We have the 1B coming in, and we'll also move the Panzer 2A in. Wait for this infantry to get down here, then we can push into this building. I'm gonna move the Panzer 4 over here, so that hopefully we're, in, we're uh, outside of range from grenades and whatnot from these guys. And I generally just need to play a little bit better than I'm doing right now. So, yeah. By the way, we have these guys in position. These guys should be back in position. Just gonna set up and defend again. The enemy should be in trouble for sure. And are we leaving anything behind? Well, vehicle crew and a, a mobilized tank. Well, the tank is out of fuel, technically. There's this infantry over there. I took out this heavy machine gun team. I want this tank to be ready to shoot. Over here as soon as we make the push. Actually, I'm going to preemptively uh, shoot to that structure a little bit. So let's just uh, keep going down here. And get under various infantry. All the illuminating stuff. They're illuminating all the guys though, so that's good. So for now, we just defend. We'll try and illuminate my tank, but I pretty much backfired quite hard on them. I suppose we can illuminate this area. Alright, so just keep going. Break through with the armor, and things should be good. What the fuck is that? Why are you diverting over there? Just follow the road. Close combat day, I it's uh <laughs> something of its own. You could say. Anyway, I'm gonna push the MG team so over here. Um actually. Well, never mind, we'll not use them anymore, I think. They've taken so much casualties and I kinda wanna keep them. I'm gonna push in here. Okay, they surrendered, that's good. Uh, then we can push down in this area with these uh, shots and teams. Most of these shots and teams, anyway. Take some fire, so okay, I guess just keep defending here then. Should be fine. There's an anti tank gun. Does that have shots in my fucking tank right now? Get the hell out of there. Get the hell out of there. Okay, this infantry has surrendered. We need to get stuff up on that anti tank gun. ASAP, the sooner the better. This stuff's dead, good. Then we can move in here and get an angle. Just get the hell safe. Get the fuck out of there. Let's not lose more fucking tanks, so. Alright, we got those guys in position, opening fire, keeping them busy. Let's push these guys up to the next building over. Uh, through that path there. Like this. And well. Okay, now we're gonna move the engine team south path all. Okay, well, we're on this from several angles, and I dare almost even move in these guys. Because these guys are going to be very distracted. And whatever they turn to face, well, it's going to open them up to get shot at by something else. There we go, they surrendered. They saw the situation that was about to go down, and they wanted none of that. So, we've taken a lot more casualties than I would have wanted to have, uh, if I'm being honest, but... At least it looks like we are heading towards victory. Uh, so we've taken up one, two, three, four anti-tank guns, which means I think they have one more somewhere. Well, one of them is anti-infantry, but it's a cannon, so for me that's just anti-tank. Really, like that's mainly what they're good for. Although anti-infantry cannons can do some serious damage to infantry, of course, so... We're just going to go and take the uh, last victory location, I think, and then uh, hit uh, up truce and hopefully end this immediately. Without losing any more teams, because we have lost a few. And it's kind of blunting our uh, spearhead a bit. Let's hit truce, and we got the victory. Good. So we killed 30, incapacitated 26, and took 18 prisoners, destroyed one gun, and captured two. Ourselves, we had one tank destroyed, one damaged, and the one that's damaged is the one that ran out of fuel, basically. 
Uh, Twelve of our soldiers or tank crews got killed and one incapacitated. So not too bad, but still not too good either. We completely lost this command team. They got beat the fuck up by some French dudes holding a building. Um, these guys are good. I guess there will be some replacements, but they will be fine. Uh, this pencil 2 is lost. And we might have lost the pencil 3 as well. Depending. I really hope not, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much our casualties there. So we, they're not too bad, but really we can't keep losing tanks. Uh, particularly not running out of fuel. Because uh, we might need them in the future. So, yeah. Better keep them alive if we can. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, well, I would appreciate if you would consider leaving a like on it. Or maybe even subscribing if you haven't already. That being said, thank you for watching. And as always, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.